Oh, we have this power here with the Ultraman Taiga DX Plasma Zero Light from Ultraman Taiga. So this is the um, last um, accessory Taiga gains near the end of the series from obviously Ultraman Zero, which um, grants him this new, um, this newer uh, Ultra accessory because obviously um, Zero is huge and such, so he gets his own specialized ultra accessory even though he has his own already which i still don't have obviously um taiga tri-stream is properly shown in here because um that's when he gained it so this is still part of the ultra taiga accessory line it has sounds um it's in this huge box which i think it was so unnecessary obviously ultraman zero is prominent here so ultraman zero ultraman taiga tri-stream Plasma Zero Let. All of the warning stuff, and then obviously the instructions and stuff on the back. Have ability with the Tiger Spark and its finishers, which I forgot to look over. So, fun. So, here we have the Plasma Zero Let. Um, obviously, um, it's. I, it's very basic, but I like it overall because obviously this is based off of Zero's ultimate brace. Or is it technically the Saga brace? I don't know, but it's in a lot of resemblance of Zero's actual brace. So it's not like the other ones. This one's more specific towards him, which I do love overall. But obviously because this is mostly colored in Taika Tri-Stream, um, we get the blue. The blue highlights are more... I want to say they're more for from that form, and obviously the base is red. So, yeah. Obviously, as you can see here, this comes with another leather strap, just like the Taiga Spark. Uh, obviously, it comes separate. Um, the way again, the way it packaged, its package is weird. But, um, but just like the Taiga Spark, this gets worn out really easily. Uh, so. That's fun. Um, pull tab here, which I'll pull out because I will not be activating the sounds yet. Um, that's the reset button, I guess. So putting this on is actually really simple. Because obviously, unlike the most ultra accessories, this one you can actually wear comfortably. Uh, so overall, this actually looks pretty neat on my arm. And... um. Obviously, and for wearing the Taiga Spark, these two go off really well. Uh, so, this might take a while, just because of how uh, uneasy this is actually to put on, just because of how it is. Because, you know, you have to apply for your hand, too. But, um, basically, these two together are just a really nice pair um, but again, because this one's specific for the risk, it's just a lot easier than this thing because this thing wants to wiggle around and push up even though I needed to um, make my skin go purple. Uh, so, I would, as much as I would like to actually show how you're supposed to do it, I just can't. Uh, I already did that on Twitter. So, anyways, comparing this to a normal... Um, Accessory. Um, I have Saga because I don't have the Zero Let. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty small. Obviously, this is its own thing entirely, so it's not going to follow the design suit of these. So there's uh, there's no LED indicator. Uh, there's no color timer because that's the middle part of how the brace actually is. And obviously, there's no head of Zero. So... This is literally just straight up Tiger's rendition of the Ultimate Brace or Slash Saga Brace. Um, the special thing with this one is that when you press it down here, it opens up to reveal the button that's going to get pressed when you do the finishers. And this is where the Tiger Spark is essentially going to read the brace, although it's literally just this, this piece. Um, yeah, if you push it down when you have it down for it, or downward, like, 
I don't know how to do it on camera <laughs> because it's just a lot easier to do it when wearing it and not bashing the table. But yeah, this is just awkward on doing it in frame. But basically, with enough force, you can like do that. But then. So, so then you can technically do the ultimate Aegis <laughs> thing, but I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that's basically it, because we're going to do the Taiga Spark sounds first, because that's how he normally does it. So here we have the Taiga Spark. So, obviously, this is how this process goes. We have to activate this first. Open up the zero, what? Plasma zero what? and then scan the Taiga Spark. We have it announced that, and it does nothing because we have to let that because then we have to do our finisher three here. So I'll show you the whole process again of how this is supposed to happen <laughs> because it's just going to be awkward if I just you know, do it the other way around. So, activate this, open this up, scan it, and then do whatever we want. Without blocking. So I'll just show that you don't have to. Now press it once. So that first finisher is the Taiga Emerald Blaster. Yeah. So it's the it's the ultra the beam light attack. If that actually wants to show, no, it doesn't. Uh, so it's the beam light attack. So yeah. Second one. Press it twice. That one was the wide tiger shot, so Zero's typical like ultra um finisher. And then the last one. Hold it this time. So that was the Taya dynamic shot. Shoot. Which is... It's not a zero attack, it's actually Tarl's attack. It's the um, one where he um, makes his whole body um, burning. Or he His body burns up and then he rushes to the enemy and kamikaze <laughs> kind of thing. So, yeah, that that's really cool that they did that. So, like, obviously, like, you can do these finishers by... And plus these two just circle, like cycle between. Like that's what they really do. You don't have to activate any of the sounds. It's I'm just doing it for more show accuracy um, purposes because technically that's the way how Hiroyuki does it. He summons this, he scans it, then he presses the button. Which is, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's why this does not have any sound after it announces the Plasma Zero Web. Because it's relying on you pressing the button and such. But, yeah, overall, um, for the final toy of Taiga, like, 
show-wise, I we don't know anything. We don't know a lot about what of what's coming out in the movie specifically, besides some listings. But I'm not going to get into that. Um. Overall, I think this is actually a really fun toy. If I had to be honest, um, it's really cool that um we actually did like do a evolution of the ultra accessories because obviously like these base ones are cool and all but it's just like yeah how the heck am i supposed to wear that so it's really nice that they decide to just do one that's like like a more upgraded version and one that actually does a lot more because this one obviously actually allows taiga to do zero's finishers because like with this one it will allow just the user or the ultra to just use their ability but then still proceed with their finisher so i think it's really nice that they did something like this um now i i wouldn't say it would be what it have been last minute because of the fact that we already knew about it but it's just really cool that like something like this happened while it would have been better if it didn't take while it didn't appear in the like the last three episodes i guess like i think it's just kind of nice they try to make the accessories relevant again but um you don't really need this toy like if you have the zero it and you're fine with that that's on you but um if you want like the technically the cranon the canon zero it then go pick this up because it's really cheap overall it's like 15 to 20 dollars i'll recommend getting that like 15 or so don't don't go like so much into it um but yeah so that's essentially it uh it doesn't really do anything but i think the just the process of like actually you know activating tiger spark oh Activating Tiger Spark, opening the zero plasma zero, it scanning it, and then like doing how much whatever button presses you do. I don't know. That's just fun. <laughs> I don't know. Role playing is fun for me. Um, that's basically it. So this is Power, and I'll leave people by.